What is the controlled oral word association test? Well, that's a big mouthful right then and there, okay? The best way to discuss this test is to give you an example of the test. All right, let's say we have a test administrator. He grabs his dry erase board like this, and he shows the test participant these three letters, okay? And he says to the test participant, I've got a stopwatch, and as soon as I turn the stopwatch on, you're going to have one minute to tell me every single word that you can think of that starts with the letter F. So, the administrator of the test turns on the stopwatch, and the participant says things like frog, fountain, fish, frank, fry, finger, and he goes on and on and on and on until the minute's up. Now, if the guy repeats any of those words, say he says fish at the top, and then later on he says fish again, that second fish is deducted. Okay? So, after the minute's up, the administrator of the test tallies up the score. He also deducts for words that don't start with the letter F. Obviously, phonics does not start with the letter F. He deducts those kind of things. All right. Then he goes on, he says, all right, we're going to take the letter A. I'm going to start my watch for one minute. You're going to recite all the words that you can think of that starts with the letter A. Aardvark, artichoke, apple, Alex, Amanda. See? And then after that, he stops the stopwatch. Boom, he tallies that up as well. And he does the same thing with the letter S. And after he tallies up those scores, he has a pretty good indicator of whether a person is suffering maybe from Alzheimer's, or from dementia, or from some neuro other neurological a a ailment. Okay, This is a good way for him to tell whether somebody's suffering neurologically or not. Okay, It's called verbal fluency. If you can recall those uh, that many words like that, then there's a good chance that you have great communication skills. If you can't, it may mean you have poor communication skills, and there may be some mental impairment causing you to have poor communication skills. And that's the, why, the reason why they administer the test. All right, I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.